Hello and thanks for watching. Today we're going to figure out how to monitor your students using Land School for Chromebooks. You would start by going to the File Wave kiosk up here and once it is verified it will allow you to see the software that's available for North Star teachers. Land School is typically down here in the top downloads and you find that and you click the install button. Mine's already installed. Here's the best shortcut for opening Land School. You press command space bar and get your spotlight search. It's the same thing as going up here to your spotlight search. You type in TEA because the actual program is called teacher. You hit enter or click that and it opens up your Land School teacher console. From here we have a couple of one-time setup things to do. You go up to the teacher menu and you go to preferences. In the network tab you have to choose the third option and type in that exact address. Each teacher needs to put down a unique channel. We suggest the last four of your F number. Before leaving here please go to the student tab you'll find this is the only box that is not checked. You want to have your student name showing. We can apply these settings and then close out this menu. The next one-time setup is to go to the Administer menu and one-to-one -one, and you have to create a class list. Elementary, you'll probably do this once. Middle school, you'll probably do it five times. You have to first switch this to the login name on the drop-down menu and then you can import the students as a whole group but you have to go get a list of them on a spreadsheet first. That's no problem. Jump over to Chrome, find the export menu here on your attendance page, choose the first list, it will open up spreadsheet that you can find down here in the lower left. Safari and Chrome you'll find in the upper right. Open that spreadsheet. All you need to do is eliminate all the first and last names. Press delete, eliminate student ID, and you have a list of S numbers. Bring those S numbers over, bring them up, you go to File and Save. It will make sure you're aware that this is not the normal file extension for a spreadsheet and that's okay. You say yes, you're back over to Land School. I'm using Command Tab to switch to new applications. When I go to Import Students, I go to Find That Spreadsheet and it's called Clicker 1. If I want to preview it, I can press the space bar and get an up-close preview of any document. There is my list of S numbers right there and I can save that. I need to make sure that I give it a name like class list. I have to go and find it in just a moment in the download folder. And now I close. So the class just came in. They're starting their assignment. I need to go to administer one to one, I need to load the class list I just created. So I go and find that file one more time. It's right there at the top of my list, load class list, and here's all the students in my class. One of them happens to be online at the moment for my demonstration. First of all, I know that every single thing on this menu bar up here is both a drop down menu and a toggle or an on off switch. So I'm switching my view with the view all button. Most people find that all the images will fit if they go to a medium or a large. And if you select from the drop down a classroom layout, you can organize the kids into groups to match your seating arrangement. Just be aware that when you drag one on top of another, they switch places. There's a little bit of a delay between what I'm seeing in the Chromebook and what I'm seeing on the teacher dashboard. If my student has been on this site looking at puppies and kittens instead of doing their assignment, then I might have to come over here to the snapshot button and take a screenshot of that and send it off to their parents. It will save that image to my downloads or my desktop. If your class regularly uses resources such as YouTube, but sometimes they can be distracting, then you come over here to your limit the web options and you configure web limiting. Maybe some days 
you want to make sure that YouTube can be blocked. So you generate a class list over here, such as cool math games, games that don't have anything to do with math. Apply that and press OK. It does not become activated, however, until you click this Limit Web button. That's the on-off switch for deactivating YouTube and cool math games. So even if a student was on the middle of a YouTube video, it shuts off YouTube altogether and they get a message for land school. Additionally, if your students have left the classroom to go work somewhere else, then you can also tell them to come back to the class or whatever custom message you want to put. Come back. and they can apply that so, so that anytime you want to blank their screen, you can come up with a custom message like come back to class or eyes to the front of the classroom please. And so you verify you want to send that out. Just be aware that you have to press the button to unblank the screen when you are done. Contact your ITTs if you have other questions about how to use land school in your classroom.